Hello guys, and today we're going to do a video about how to raise leopard geckos, or mostly any reptiles, so let's get started. Okay, so, we have my pet, or my brother's pet, leopard gecko here. This is like one of the easiest reptiles to, to, uh, to train and stuff. Um, we haven't really trained this one yet, because we haven't had time to, but, um, uh, you can't, you, I can probably touch it, but I can't pick it up. I just don't want to. My brother can. Um, for the food, let's, let's get started on the food, actually. Um, for the food, you're going to need to give it, we got this little thing here to show. Um, well, I normally give it mealworms. And you can get mealworms for, and crickets for regular food. You can go buy crickets at, at the pet store, pet squad or something. And the mealworms the same. And then, uh, that's pretty much the only reason leopard gecko is hard to train because you have to go to the pet store. You can't just go to Walmart and buy crickets. You know, and you shouldn't get some out of the yard because they might carry diseases or something and stuff. But, uh, this is an experienced little beginner. Um, its lifespan is 15, 20 years. And, uh, it's a desert animal. So it lives in the desert, so it needs a hotter climate, and it can, it, as you can see here, it, it's, um, if you, if you don't know, this is, this is a, this is a baby one, actually. It's only about a year old, it grew, like, and when it gets turned six, it turns into an adult, so it can reproduce and stuff, if, you, if you're a breeder and you want to do that. Um, but it's about ten inches long right now, w or when it's an adult, it will be, because its tail will get longer and it'll get bigger. As you can see, these things like to hunt. You can't just give it dead food. You have to give it a live food, like literally. Uh, let me let me see. Okay, never mind. Um, we 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 just pour dead crickets in there whenever they die, and then they, and he never eats them unless he's like starving, which is right now. See, there's none in there. But um, we haven't cleaned this out yet. We're going to. Um, you want to give it a little place like this. With uh, food, water, a temperature scanner, and a little place to hang out from the sun. And you want to keep it some sun and not make it too hot. And I don't ever do this. It seems fine, but you should do this. You're supposed to line it with wet moss around this, all around their little shelter area, so they can be be not as warm. But uh, it should be. There's, there should be a warm side and a cold side. There should be a lot of heaters and stuff. And uh, at, at daytime, the cool side should be about 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And the day warm side, the warm side on the day is going to be 85 to 90, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And then at nighttime, it should be 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So, I mean, it's pretty high, I gotta admit. 95 degrees warm side at daytime, that's, that's, that's pretty high, see, look how cute he is though, hey, he's so cute, isn't he, my little brother can pick him up, uh, also you need to fill the water bowl about halfway, so it can get wet and stuff, you're supposed to put like a paper towel roll or something, like this in there, and then fill it with a wet towel or something, or not a wet, <laughs> a wet paper towel, and uh, Get re it or get a new one in there so they can go in there if they're shedding because they will eat your shit. I'm going to tell you that. Just clean it out like once a week, I think. And then, uh, there, and there goes the mealworms. You can just get a little container like this or this or something like that or make one yourself. They're pretty easy to make. A little thing you can put insects in because these are, are not carnivores or anything. They're actually insectivores. They eat insects. Mealworms, insects. Uh, and then, and oh yeah, the, the, if you give it wax worms, I never gave it one. You can use this as treats, but that needs to be like a five percent on diet, so like once a week, probably, maybe even lower or a little bit higher. Yeah, occasionally. And then you're supposed to give it its food at. It says you're supposed to give it its food daily, but as a reptile, so we don't only just give it food every other day. But, uh, mine is small. They'll want more when they're bigger. But I give it about three or four mealworms every day, if, it, if I did. 
or every other day. But, uh, and you're supposed to refresh its water every day, but we seem to go along fine with that. Uh, we might have to fix a little bit of things, but, uh, as you can see here in this picture, you can care it. How to train it, how you can hold it. But put your, when you first get it, and it's a baby, it will not like you. It will try to hunt you. It will be scared of you. Most likely, 99.99% like sure it will be scared of you. You put your hand in there around it and start touching things around it. And like try to be nice around it for about a week. And then you can touch it for about a week. And then you can start pick, trying to pick it up. And if it doesn't let you... You're probably going to get bitten at least once. But thing is, it seems like it, it doesn't hurt. Like, it doesn't look like it has any teeth. But it doesn't make, it's weird because it doesn't make a cut. It does, you can't see the cut, but it, it makes blood come out. So, it's a really weird creature. It's a leopard gecko, and you can see through its ears and its armpits. Um, This little tip, its tail, you know, it's so big. Because, well, you, can, you can't really tell which one is the head or not. That can help you in predators and stuff. And it holds all its fat in there so it can, and that's like its food and stuff. And then it's, and under its armpits, you can check if it has protein. So that's how you can make sure if it has high protein or, and high fat. But uh, it, its tail will fall off and it'll grow back just like a normal lizard. But yeah, that's a leopard gecko. And I hope you like this video if you want more. Like this video, maybe hamsters or dogs or any animal, really, because I only have a few animals. But in the future, I'm probably going to get more. I'm thinking about getting a snake, but um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!